This video was brought to you by Indently.io, learning Python made simple. How's it going everyone? In today's video, we're going to learn how we can use yield from in Python. And to get started, we are going to import from collections.abc the generator type and the iterator type, or the iterable type actually. And I'm finally using collections.abc. And I'll explain why I haven't been doing that in the near future. And after that, we're going to import from typing the any type. Anyway, with these imports out of the way, let's get started by creating a generator. And this one's going to be called numbers, which takes n, which will be the amount of numbers we want to generate. And that's going to return to us a generator, which returns an integer, allows us to send nothing to it and returns nothing. And in case you don't know what this means, I'm going to leave a link in the description box down below to a video where I explain this. But otherwise, it's just a type annotation and you can easily get by without using it. But I love type annotations, so I'm always going to include it. Anyway, inside here, we can type in for i in range n yield the string of numbers i. And I'm actually a very silly guy because this was supposed to be string because we're returning strings here or we're yielding strings, not returning strings. And just like that, we can use this as a generator. We can say that there are some number generators. So number gen of type generator of string none and none is going to equal this number generator with let's say three numbers. And to use it, we just call next, insert our number generator and each time we do that, we're going to retrieve one value from the generator. And to demonstrate it, let's run this. So as you can see, from our number generator, we retrieved three numbers. Each time we called next, we got one number back. But now imagine that we want to use a generator inside another generator. And to do that, we're going to remove all of this and call it wrapper, which is going to take G of type generator. And that's going to return a generator that yields strings accepts nothing and returns nothing. Then inside here, the first thing we want to yield is the wrapper value. So first value. Then inside here, we can type in four element in G yield element. And finally, we can type in yield wrapper last value. Now let's try to use this and see what happens. So here I'm going to create something called gen of type generator, which is actually going to return any. And I meant to type in any here because if we insert a generator that's this generic, it will literally allow you to yield any kind of value. We're not being that specific with the type annotation here. So I'm just telling our program that that can give us anything back. And we won't allow anything to be sent to it or returned from it. And that's going to equal the wrapper with numbers set to three. So now we're inserting a generator inside another generator. And it's going to work essentially the exact same way. We type in next on that generator. We do it three, four times. It's going to retrieve those values one at a time. If we do it all the way to the end, we're going to encounter a stop iteration because we only have five values in total. But this doesn't explain yield from. We still haven't used yield from anywhere in our script. So what we're going to do is go back up to the wrapper and use the sugar syntax, which is yield from. So instead of looping through our generator, what we can do instead is say that we want to yield from G. So we're just doing it on a single line instead of looping through it. And literally what this syntax is telling us is to use this generator. We're setting up a two way connection, which means we can send values to it and we can retrieve values from it using this sugar syntax, which is quite beautiful. And when we run it, it's going to work exactly the same way. It's going to grab the first value because that's what we yielded first. Then it's going to yield the values from this generator. It's just going to use that generator directly. And again, this sets up a two way communication, which means we can send values to it and we can retrieve values from it just by using this syntax. And finally, once we exhaust this generator, it moves on to the next yield. And something you'll notice is that once we run into a stop iteration using yield from, it's not going to crash our program because we still have other yield statements in the outer generator. 
and that's going to crash our program once we run into it. Because as far as Python sees it, we're only using the wrapper as a generator, which means once we run into the last value, it's going to hit that stop iteration. Or once we exhaust the last value, it's going to trigger that stop iteration. And this also works with iterators. So if we were to remove all of this, and we were to create first a type, which I'm going to call enumerator, which we can do using the new Python 3.12 syntax. So enumerator, and that's going to equal a generator that returns or yields a tuple of int to any, or int and any. That's going to be the value pair because int is the current enumeration and any is whatever value we pass in. And we won't send anything to it and we won't return anything from it. Then we can create our function, which is going to be called enumerations. And this is actually going to be a generator that's going to take an iterable of type iterable and will return to us an enumerator. Now inside here, we can yield from enumerate iterable at the start of one. And as always, PyCharm is going to give me this red syntax highlighting because type is still not accepted by my Py unless you unless you turn on experimental mode. But as you can see, we were able to use it with an iterator here. And I mean, that shouldn't really be surprising because generators are just iterators at the end of the day, but it's still cool to see that it works. And we can print next, or first, before we do that, we need to create an enumerator. So enumerator, enumerator is going to equal enumerations. And here we can pass in any iterable. So A, B, C, D, E, F. Then we can print next of this enumerator and do it a couple times. And it's going to work exactly the same way. So we didn't have to type in, or I'm not gonna delete all of that, for element in enumerate iterable yield element. We were able to do it on a single line. And these are some incredibly simplified use cases. So I am going to be leaving a link in the description box down below to a stack overflow question, which actually covers this in much more detail in case you're curious, because there's a lot of good information on this thread. And while I gave you the simple explanation, these answers actually give you a lot of added information for real world use cases. So I absolutely recommend you dive into this thread if you want to learn more about yield from in Python. But otherwise, to summarize it, it just makes it a lot easier to set up this two-way connection between any other generator with very simple syntax. But yeah, do let me know what you think about yield from in the comment section down below, whether you have any questions or added information which I did not include in this video. I would love to hear about all of that in the comment section down below. But otherwise, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.